wait for it, wait for it. Today, I'm gonna show you guys an inside look of how we export our videos for YouTube. Let's get started. First thing you gotta do is set your in and out point. So I've already set them here, and to do that, you just push I for in point, and wherever you put the mouse, I'm put O for out point. This is essentially right here, what you see right here is everything that I'm going to export right now. I'm gonna go to export right here. Ta da So there's three different settings that I'll use to export based on what I'm doing. So if I, let's just say we work with a company on this one, I just wanna do a small resolution export where it's still gonna be 4K, but very highly compressed, but it's not gonna look too bad. So I'll go to H264, ta da just a compression factor. And we shot this in 4K, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do YouTube 2160 by 4K. It's already a presetting in there. You can see right here, we have the in and out point. This is what I'm exporting. And because it's not 3840 by 2160, it's actually 4096 by 2160, I'm gonna go ahead and click right here. Go ahead and click scale to fill. So it, it crops in a little bit on the image, but what you're seeing now is a 3840 by 2160, so it is in 4K. And this is what I'd export if I'm sending it out to a client or somebody else, just so they can see and give me feedback on it. Now, if I'm exporting to YouTube, where I want the highest visuals, I am going to click on Format. I'm gonna go to QuickTime, right there. Apple ProRes 422 HQ is one of the best, but what I'm going to do, because I want to look the best, like, humanly possible, so I'm gonna do Apple ProRes 444XQ, and this is, we're shooting everything in red, so it is shooting everything in 444, which is essentially the color space. I'm gonna export it out here, and this basically is gonna make the image as best as humanly possible. So this is how I would export it to YouTube. One YouTube video, you can upload up to 256 gigs. Now some of our 10 minute videos, if I export it at this setting, it's actually gonna be higher than 256 gigs. It'll be roughly around like 300 gigs. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this. Let's just say this ends up being like 300 gigs. So instead of doing this, I'll just jump to Apple ProRes 422 HQ, kind of as my plan B. And then I'll export it. And then... So there you have it. That is how we export all of our videos. Now you know. And if you're still here, check out our latest Lord of the Rings video we just released on our main channel right over there. Or check out the behind the scenes video right over there. Thanks so much for watching. Over and out.